Okay, good afternoon to all of you. My name is T. Pechilaya, Assistant Professor of Triple A Department in Senior Marketing Engineering College. So, okay, today I am discussing in the VWD subject related topic. Okay, so today we are discussing uh, passive elements, parallel combinations. Okay, so initially I will take the uh, registers in parallel combination case. How we circuit the result and the rest that we will discuss. Okay? So let us cast the two resistors. So these two resistors are connected in series from parallel combination of this. So this resistor resistors are with this R1. And this resistor is with this R2. And this supply voltage that we are giving across these two tendencies. V boots. That is the DC voltage. So usually you can also connect that here. Symbol will be different than this. So that is an independent voltage source. That is an independent voltage source in the specification. And the current that is going in this process is also from the high. And through this is high bar. And through this is high. Okay. Right. So now we denote the equivalent resistance value from the value. So that one certain doesn't be just as okay. Right. So now when two resistors are connected in parallel combination case, the net R equivalent resistance relation is one by R equivalent is equal to one by R plus one by R. Okay. So we can further simplify it. R equal to R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So this is the equivalent resistance value and two resistors are in parallel combinations. Okay. Suppose if we are considering n the number of n the number of resistors in parallel combination case, then at R equal expression is 1 by R equal to 1 by R equal to 1 by R1. Plus one by R two plus one by R one by R two. So this is the expression for this combination. That is the net R one for the resistance. So what we are going to do is one by R two combination. So similarly, suppose we are connected. This is for a inductor resistor case in parallel combination case. Now. Inductors in parallel combination case in this case. Parallel. So we draw the same circle, but instead of registers, now we will consider now we will consider uh, inductors. Right? This is the inductor in the Okay, that is also this inductor inductor as well as L1 and another inductors. This Electric circuit is L2 and the gas software will be and current going to this branch is I and P of this I and it is I. Now here also if you derive if you calculate the L equivalent value, that expression the same similar kind of expression we get like the uh, resistor combination case. So one by the current is equal to one by the plus one by L2 is the expression. Now from this equation, L equivalent if you have calculated, you will get L equivalent expression as L1 into L2 by L1 plus L1. Okay? Now, like this, suppose if you have connected N the number of inductors, N the number of inductors, N the number of inductors. So then, one is like L equivalent expression is. N number of inductors are connected in parallel case. One by L equivalent expression is one by L one plus one by L two plus one by L three plus and so on one by L n. Expression of 
equivalent inductance value there uh, and the number of inductors are connected in that case. So like this we can also calculate the capacitors. So it should have resistance now the capacity. So let us assume that capacitor capacitance value is C1 and T is C1. Another capacitor capacitance. Now here also we will get the, the C equal to the expression is C1 plus C2. C1 plus C2. So this is the equivalent expression for and, uh, uh, two capacitors in parallel proportion. Okay. So like this, suppose if n number of capacitors uh, connected in parallel things, C equivalent expression is C1 plus C2 plus and so on C. This is the equivalent capacitance expression. Then the n number of capacitors are connected in that case. This is the sample diagram. Okay. So now these are these are the okay, the capacitors are not resistors. Right? The capacitance is parallel combination and inductors is parallel combination. So before we discuss uh, resistors in parallel combination. Okay. Now another type of course topic we will discuss in this subject. Okay. So after studying this combination of circuits. So that circuit connection may be either the series or the channel combination. So, so by using this combination, uh, by using this uh, equation, we can solve the easily complex complex circuits. Okay. So next we will discuss about the uh, Nodal analysis. So generally this nodal analysis that we are using mainly for calculating or determining uh, branch currents or maybe branch voltage. So both branch currents and branch voltages. Okay. So this technique is a uh, technique very useful for solving these complex circuits. Okay. So I will take an example and I will use that example and uh, Parallel current procedure for solving nodal uh, analysis. Any two any different. Okay. Let us consider this is a DC circuit. So this voltage source voltage value is V1 and this voltage source voltage value is V2 and this resistor values resistor resistance values are R1, R2, R3. So first of all, identify total number of nodes in this circuit. Okay, so total how many nodes are there? So this is one node and this is another node and this is another node, this is the reference. Okay, so usually the nodal analysis that we are applying at nodes. Okay, so the nodal equations we want to write in equation for the circuit. So generally that the equations that we are writing is generated at nodes by the we are applying at nodes. Okay. So now I am assuming that in this out of these two nodes, out of, out of this, uh, all these nodes, one node I am considering as a so this both nodes and considering as a reference. So at this reference node, usually potential value is zero. So the 
potential at that is the voltage at this fourth row is zero. Okay. And the pot this node potential is nothing but this V1 potential. So this node potential is both don't know. Let us assume this potential as uh, V, just V1. Okay, this V is the potential at node. And this third node potential is V2. This third node potential is V2. Okay. So now I apply nodal analysis for this circuit. So initially we have to apply nodal equations at the red node. So I apply nodal at this node. So that nodal equation at node 2 is nodal equation. So in this analysis, in this state, initially, so one important direction is that so where we are applying this nodal equation at node. So that node potential should be higher than this remaining all the So if we are considering like that, so then the branch currents, branch currents direction is always lies this one. Yes or not? Because the currents will be flowing usually higher potential to load one. Here one direction will be that direction is that at node 2 only we are considering the at node 2 only in this analysis, in this network uh, model analysis, at node 2 potential should be higher than the remaining all other. So that's why the current always will flow from this node 2 to the remaining all So the current flowing direction in this branch is like this. In this branch is like this. So in this branch, there is no one. Okay. So based on this current flow direction, we can apply easily, we can write the equation here. So now the current expression in this is V minus this node potential is V1. V minus V1 by R. Is that right? This is the expression. And plus, because all currents are linked. Okay? All currents are linked. So sum of all these currents, the sum of all these currents is always equal to V. So that's why I'm writing here. So plus, another equation is current flowing to this all potential. So V minus this node potential anyway we are assuming it is as a reference so this node potential is 0 V minus 0 by R plus another current equation is in this direction so V minus this node potential is anyway V2 only here this is V so V minus V2 by R R sorry this is equal to 0 so we don't know the value of V here. Okay. Remaining all the values already given in circuits. So anyway, V1, V2, this is the source voltage values. And R1, R2, R3 are the circuit elements resistance values. Anyway, the Z is here. Already given in circuit. So here unknown term is only towards this V1. So that V term we can calculate from this expression. So what is it? V terms. Those terms first of all separate V by R1 plus V by R2 plus V by R3. So remaining all terms are sending to the right hand side. What are those? V1 by R1 plus 1. Here 0 by R2 is 0 only. And this term is V2 by R3. Right? So we we'll take common here from the right hand side terms. So what is the common term? V1. 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by 1 3 is the expression for taking of this wave form. So next, V1 by R1 plus V2 by R3 is the right hand side. Right? Now, calculate the, write the V expression from this equation. V1 by R1 plus V2 by R3 divided by uh, so this is the crystal complete side to right hand side. So 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 is the expression. So this is the voltage expression of the that voltage expression is uh, at node 2 at node 2 potential. So if you know the voltage of this node 2 Okay, so we can calculate the branch current in 
is all about the branch current P naught two and the branch current we can easily write the we can easily write and calculate this branch current. So after knowing the branch currents, yes or no? So this branch current that is simply this V one and this branch current is I two and this branch current is V two. Okay, we only learn the values of this I one and I two. We can easily calculate this branch voltage. Okay, so what is the branch voltage of this R1? That we can calculate. This R2 branch voltage. That also we can calculate. And R3 branch voltage. That also. Okay, this is the way to solve this circuit by using our practices. It's a very very uh, good concept.